battling is a very essential part of hip hop, isn't it? So the diss tracks and all that, that's that's needed, but look at Drake and Meek Mill, fam. They squashed it. That's what grown men do, fam. We battle, you get me, whoever wins, wins, then we keep it moving and we make this money, innit? What's up, what's up? You know what it is. It's Prince Crew. I'm your presenter, Itai, and today we're going to discuss the current state of hip hop. I'm here with special guests, Broken Pen. Yo, uh, new tune on Spotify. <laughs> go, go check that. <laughs> My guy, love. Yeah. He's an upcoming rapper and spoken word artist. And of course, we have a hip hop fan. Douglas. Silver Spoon Doug. Oh, yeah, Silver Spoon Doug. Silver Spoon Doug. That's, it. That's your tag, yeah? What? That's your tag, yeah? It's not actually my tag, but you know what? That's who he is. I'll take it. Yeah. All right, all right. Okay. I want to talk to you about the past of hip hop and the present of hip hop. Mm. What's the main focus? Like, what do you think is the main difference between hip hop that started in the, the, the 70s to the 90s to the current day today? Um, well, the main, main difference I'd say is uh, content. Content, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, like, a lot of people want to like blame a lot of violence on um, rap music and shit like that. But you have to think about it. They've been rapping about about gang banging from day in it, and it's not necessarily been to encourage it. It's just been a been a reflection of whoever's rapping its like upbringing. Do you know what I mean? So people rap what they know. So if all you know is gang banging, then you're gonna rap about that. So um, not necessarily that, but kind of like. Obviously, you got the mumble rap in it. Like mumble rap's got its own thing. Like it's known. People call it mumble rap. It's known as mumble rap in it, and um, like that is the main. I'd say the main kind of difference between old school and now. Whereas old school was a lot about even the simplest rapper back in the day, because there were shit rappers still. But like even the simplest rapper back in the day, it was still about uh, lyricism in it. Even if it wasn't content within lyricism, it was still about like. Saying saying words, do you know what I mean? Now it's like you don't have to you don't have to say anything that makes sense, bro. Uh, yeah, man, like the mumble rapping thing is mad, bro. Like that's to me that's the main difference still. And what's your opinion as a fan of hip hop? Like when, when what was the first hip hop song that you were introduced to? That's the hip hop song. Or the first you can remember. <laughs> <laughs> the first hip hop song. Um, I wasn't necessarily into hip hop music. I was introduced to hip hop through music. It was more through the culture. So like, so you're talking about street dancing, street dancing the fashion, and the fashion, and the, the the way of the way people talk and stuff like that. So I wasn't really too much into music when I was younger. But it's only in the later years where I started listening to people like, of course, Tupac, Biggie, guys like that. So, but. The, you have to understand that just because this guy wears his hat backwards, yeah, and a hoodie, don't let him fool you, bro. This guy listens to classical music and jazz, fam. Listen to how he speaks. Oh, yes, back in <laughs> back in the day when I used to uh, listen to music, I wasn't really, bro. I do listen to classical music. So I, I listen from classical to hip hop. Gated community, fam. Gated community. There's nothing wrong with that. You can be fans of multiple genres of music. I don't see a problem with that. It doesn't mean you don't appreciate one over the other. Exactly. What, 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 what one do you like more? Be honest with you, be honest. You, of course, hip hop, because I. Um, You're not just saying it because he's here, are you? No, I don't really care about if, whether he's here or not, to be, uh, <laughs> to be honest. But it's not because of um, anything, but it's what I. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? It's what I could re resonate with m the most in terms of like my background. I'm not from a gay community, as my fellow pen over here likes to claim. Uh, yeah, fellow pen. <laughs> so, but yeah, so like I could. Um, I could see my life in some of the hip hop artists and some of the music that comes out. Not the music today though, because I think that's personally I think it's trash nowadays. It's more to do with self glorification as as to suppose back in the nineties where it was more about politics and about the society, the the, the way of life and whatnot. But yeah, nowadays. yeah, that was a very good point. We're gonna come back to that yeah. pretty soon. So, Broken Pen, you're a rapper as well and a spoken yes, word artist. Yes, so, how did you start that path in life? Um, well, coming to this country, I didn't really speak English, obviously. So, oh, so what country did you come from? 
Uh, I'm from Angola, my guy. Oh, Angola. Yeah, and yeah. when did you come here first arrive? When you were a child? Uh, yeah, um? when I was five. I came here when I was five years old. Yeah, and um, yeah, I had to learn English, blah, blah, blah. And as I was learning and getting better at it, I was like, oh, okay, cool. Because obviously, kids thought they could make fun of my accent. So I decided to learn English to the best possible degree that I could learn English. And um, yeah, man, ever since then, I've just not looked back. So through English, the language and breaking that down and how it works and how you communicate what you're thinking, um, I went into poetry, like in school. So like Shakespeare and all them dead poets. And then I was like, OK, cool. Um, this is kind of OK. And then started listening to grand music. I was like, yo, this is dope. So then just through the later years, I started rapping, doing grime, da 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 then like turning like 20 say 24 i realized all oh, right i can actually fuse this rap and this poetry thing into like a style in it where it's like it can still be poetry but it doesn't have to be oh 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 i bequeath thee upon thou that like it doesn't have to be like that in it do you know what i mean because those people don't exist anymore so poetry is just a reflection of your current state of experience put into words that aren't commonly used in your day to day to obviously project and convey what you feel such and such and so and so yeah well, that was very a uh, deep talk yeah, conversation yeah. so i want to take the conversation back to the 70s about the political well most prominent political era of hip-hop like the song the revolution will not be terrorized by gil heron so what do you think is the difference between music from the 70s that was completely political based mm. and and was dawned due, and was created during like a time of oppression a time where black people didn't have equal rights mm. like hip hop wasn't just like a culture it was like a way of fighting mm. it was like a way of fighting verbally mm. non physically <coughs> for example rapper Gil Heron he was a poet he wasn't really a rapper, he was yeah. a poet that made a poem and put drums and mu and used music yeah. to go with the poet and that was like the early forms of hip hop. Mm. So what do you think do you think what do you think separates that early form of hip hop from the current state today? Like I said before, nowadays it's more to do with um self glorification. You could even hear it in the content and the lyrics, like they're talking about money girls cars there's nothing really much to it so no, no, silver spoon. uh before you go and so to interrupt you but i'll take you back to tupac himself who self-glorified a lot talked about money a lot talked about the bitches and the hoes a lot so you can't just say now because biggie did the same thing who else did the same thing i can't say now because that was back in the 90s. I'm talking about now. Yeah, but, that, but that's what I'm saying. Like, the, At any point in time, there has always been a self-glorification of whatever in hip-hop. There's always been, like, Donnie's dressing feminine. Like, nothing's, nothing's really changed except for the fact that people are now not using words to, to rap and then calling it rap. I'd say there was always flexing in the early 90s yeah. but I'd say the flexing was always in the background of the music mm -hmm. but now it's in the no, forefront I think I kind of have to agree with him a little bit on oh. that <laughs> not that I'm taking sides no, 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 I'm still no, neutral but sides, yeah. <laughs> okay okay I'll take your side next time <laughs> I'll take your side next time you said the music doesn't have any meaning in it it's just flexing not all of it because there's still Oh, it's today, like my, like broken pen. No, I'm flexing. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't flex, he doesn't flex, but, um, but most of it, like, especially in the mainstream, and all the guys that are at the top right now, he is flexing. It's all about how they got to where they are, how much money they have. Like, you can't name me, like, maybe he can, but the top five rappers right now, listen to their content. It's all about self 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 don't know if <sighs> Meek Mill, Jay-Z, uh, Rick Ross um, Jonah Lucas uh, Eminem it's not about self wait what? yeah Meek Mill came out bruv he's in, he's in power with black people fam have you heard the champions album? What? just now what's free? 
Ain't no yeah, free years where nobody got to tell us who we be, yeah, bro. We just an album. Just yeah, yeah, just now, innit? But we're talking about the current state, innit? Yeah, and also, there's, of course, underground hip-hop. Yeah. Like, oh, it's like, low-key, he's an underground rapper. Yeah. And also, Logic. Mm. What do you think of underground Logic, with the state of... Logic's mainstream, bro. Logic, the rapper. Yeah. That's Logic. friends. Logic, the American Logic. No, I'm talking about the British one. Oh, there's a British, British Logic that's Logic friends with, yeah, that's yeah, friends oh, with Loki. Okay, okay. Yeah, 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 Him. yeah, yeah, yeah. People's Army. Yeah, that People's okay. Army, yeah, that's who I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah. Alright, cool. Alright, so I thought you were talking about Logic, Logic. <laughs> yeah, 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 there's two Logic. Yeah, there's yeah, the American yeah. one and the British one. The British one was first, still. So what do you think of the current state of underground oh, hip-hop? Is it more in touch with its political oh, roots? Underground more? hip-hop would never change. That's why it's underground, isn't it? Because it has a message and it has a point. Do you know what I mean? So it's still, yeah. Like Loki still banging his his political um, agenda, um, and mortal technique still out here banging his points. Like everyone's still doing what like they're doing loaded lux. He's still talking about what he's talking about. Like even some some of the mainstream rappers are are going into that world. Like King Los is going into like the battling world to like start battling and that, so he can I don't know maybe get the underground clout, but. There is there is something in the underground that, do you know what I mean? People are paying attention to, and it's much easier to surface into mainstream from underground because, do you know what I mean? Everybody they're making a point, and plus because of the political climate, people are paying attention and they're listening. And they're like, yo, they're like yo, these people are saying stuff in it. Do you know what I'm saying? That's making people think in it and waking people up. So, yeah, man, I think it's at, it's it's currently it's at a good state. For evolution And as a hip hop fan I'm sure you're aware Of underground hip hop Yeah I am To a certain extent But like Like Rick and Penny saying Like um, It is easier For underground artists Now to make it Into mainstream But at the same time It's not Because Again like Us consumers There's not that many Consumers that are Really into Underground hip hop I don't know why That is That could be in the case of media, I don't know, because you know, you know, media outlets they would like to push the the current thing, the thing that sells, the thing that makes them money. And underground, I f- well, personally, I feel like underground hip hop doesn't make that sort of money, if that makes sense. So, but yeah. So it all comes down to like the dollar or s- or the pound. Underground hip hop doesn't make that much money, so the producers aren't interested, and also the mainstream artists aren't interested because the, that's not what a consumer wants. And also, the artists that are making making the music, mm. they know their music won't be as popular if they make it political. Yeah. So, do you believe that's the reason why underground music has taken them backseat? Um, I think that definitely is one of the reasons. Not all. But to be fair, underground music has always in the has, has always been in the back back seat. To be fair, I don't I don't feel like nothing has changed. It's just that there's more opportunities for underground artists to express themselves on platforms and whatnot. But they've always been in the back seat. That's what's called underground music. So yeah, nothing really much has changed. If I'm honest with you. Okay. And also, we want to talk about the current state of hip hop artists, like mainstream. Art celebrity rappers mm. with all the social media and the fame and rise of the internet mm. we're more interested in their personal lives as well as their music that they've created mm. do you think that's a positive or negative um it can go either way really like if you hear someone's music then you resonate with the point that they're saying then and there with the whole thing of now you being able to look at someone's life and see what they get up to. Take, for example, Kanye West. If you just listen to his music, you fuck with him. You're like, yo, this guy's dope, da 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 But then now you know what he gets up to in his life, or his little shenanigans, chatting to the president, blah, 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 this and that. Like, like everything is out there, in it. So you, you know Kanye West, not... I don't know if I should say more than you should know him, but all of these things add up to how you're going to listen to his music. So you're not going to take it for his music solely. You're going to think, I don't like this guy anyway. So then when you listen to his music, it's going to be doubly crap because you don't like the person in it. So yeah, man, I don't know. I don't think that's what, that's what music is about personally in it. 
like it takes away the whole element of you just feeling the vibration of it and how it makes you feel you kind of put all of these variables that you don't need like oh do i like this person oh like D did they piss me off today what are they doing with their lives and you're using all of these things to calculate how you're going to feel about a song you haven't even heard of like heard yet so yeah man i don't i personally don't think it's necessarily a good thing but it is as well at the same time because because of reach in it and network do you know what i mean it creates a good network and you can put your music out there quickly and stuff like that do you know what i'm saying with all of this social media stuff but when it comes down to the whole Broadcasting your life stuff. Oh, that's long. It's yeah, it's unnecessary for like for me. I I would say it's a negative because it takes away the whole focus from the actual, from actually from music itself. So it, now it becomes about the person instead of their music, instead of the content that they write. It's about it's almost like a rea reality TV. It is reality TV basically. Mm -hmm. So and since when does music and reality TV come hand in hand? Music was its own thing, and reality TV should be left alone and, and whatnot. So, as a hip hop art, um, fan, I don't need to know what's happening in Meek Mill's life. Oh, to some extent, to some extent, it can help in terms of so. Like, I could listen to a track, and that track helps me understand where he's at in life. And at the same time, I could watch. I don't know, like let's say let's use Meek Mill as an example, like or the whole that whole scenario where he's has gone to prison and come back out again. So when I listen to his music, his, his music, because I know that background, it allows me to understand it a little bit more, to live it a bit more, to understand where his mindset was at. So you can say there's positives, there's a positive side to it, but for me, mostly negative. So you both agreed on something? No, I don't agree with him still. <laughs> I agree. Every, every, everything he said, I believe the opposite. Okay. So I take it none of you are love and hip hop fans. The reality uh, show. I watched. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. <laughs> I've watched a bit of it, to be fair. Oh, you've watched a bit of it? Yeah, I've watched a bit of it. Do you believe that reality TV is polluting hip hop, though? Since you did disagree mm. that reality has no place in hip hop. So. Is it polluting it? Gotcha, bitch! <laughs> <laughs> Did we get that on camera? <laughs> is it polluting it? Um, I think it is because it's portraying what's not real. Like, from what I've seen in Love and Hip Hop, a lot of that is just not real. Yeah. It really isn't. So, so you can say it's polluting it, yeah. And you said you don't like Love and Hip Hop, obviously. Uh, no, nah, but I don't watch it. No, so I don't like it. Like I can't say I don't like something that I don't watch in it. Do you know what I mean? But um, from what I know, it's not my type of show, really. From 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 things that I've seen, from my limited watching of it, I don't really. It's long, man. It's just bare drama, brother. I'm not really into drama either, so it's like for me, it's pointless. Really, yeah. It does empower the stereotype of the hip hop culture being yeah, aggressive yeah. and violent aggressive, like yeah. who has fights constantly like physical fights and arguments and well, backstab from what I know about how, re how reality TV is made innit that's all augmented innit like they do that to to raise views and da 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 da, da. Like, d like drama like people like drama innit like it's I believe it is scientifically proven innit proven that like <laughs> drama like entices people even if you see a fight on the street you're gonna stop and watch innit cause humans are like we're just we're just wrong, innit? <laughs> just wrong ends, mate. Yeah, but nah, love and hip hop ain't for me, my guy. Even that drama, to be fair, that drama in love and hip hop is not real. It's nah. all it's scripted, anyway. So, except when Cardi B apparently when she does it, because that that's real. Because <laughs> she's crazy. crazy. Okay, now there's one big element of hip hop that we haven't talked about: the beefing See? and diss tracks. Mm. Do you believe that all beef, that current beefs are fake or real? Because let's face it, everyone likes a diss track, and all, also the beef also heightens the character, mm. the artist's it's profile. Very, very necessary. Beef in hip hop is very necessary. Like the whole hunger of it, the whole uh, competition of it, is predicated on beef in it. Like it, like a, a main essence of hip hop is battling in it. People that say they don't like battling. I just, uh, yeah, bro, like, you can't say you don't like battling, innit? Like, that was what 
was one of the founding things of hip hop is going at someone's neck is saying that you're the best MC in it like healthy competition is healthy even if you all get along gang and you're all like yeah, yeah we like each other da 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 like yeah, I mean, you may necessarily, you can even like the Don, in it, but this is not about whether I like you or not. This is a competitive sport. In basketball, you get me, like, what? I'm pretty sure LeBron James is uh, cool with with James Harden, but when they have to play, yo, I'm pretty sure LeBron James is cool with Steph Curry, but when it comes time to play, comes time to play, fam. I'm not trying to hold your hand, bro. I'm trying to take you out, fam, because this is a sport, fam. You know what I mean? Lyricism is a sport, innit? It's a sword. You got a sword, the other man has a sword, and you get me, and then you fight, and within the fight, you will sharpen each other's swords, innit? Get me? Obviously, someone's, someone's got to take the L, but <laughs> that's just the way the game goes, fam. But battling is very essential part of hip-hop, innit? So the diss tracks and all that, that's that's needed, bruv. Look at Drake and Meek Mill, fam. They squashed it. That's what grown men do, fam. We battle. You get me? Whoever wins, wins. Then we keep it moving and we make this money, innit? That's it. See what I'm saying? So it's, a, it's an essential part of hip-hop, innit? Like, if you want pop music, there's a section and a category for that over there. But over here, you get me? Don't send your, your son out without a coat, innit? Get me because it's cold in these streets. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> just, uh, just to go back to the point you said that um, it's all about sharpening the sword. So in this current state of hip hop, there hasn't been that ma- that many battles that we know of, apart from obviously Drake Meek Mill, Me- 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 Drake Pusha T. So does that like contribute to the? Just asking you as an artist, does that contribute to the the quality? Is, is quality the right word? The quality of hip hop we have today. The fact that there's no battles, mm. hence there's no sharpening of the sword, so... Nah, but this is what I'm saying. Well, once in a while, we'll get like a little, you know what I mean, join the Lucas coming at Tory Lanes, and you'll get like a little, oh, do you know what I mean? But And then you'll get like a little Kendrick sending for everyone, and then only certain people replying because they're shook. But I think a lot of it is based on reputation as well, isn't it? And there's this whole like thing of like, oh, you got to be positive and da-da-da-da-da. Bro, battling is not negative it's not unpositive like battling is a display of skill that's it man like you're not gonna say oh competitions are negative do you know what i mean like it's it's not about positive or negative it's just it is what it is in it so i think like a lot of dons are scared based off of that maybe looking like an like, looking like an aggressor do you know what i mean looking like an instigator that Going down on their reputation, da 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 da. Plus fans in it, you could lose fans in it, cause fans, do you know what I'm saying? Fans ride with the with the winner more time, do you know what I'm saying? Unless you got loyal fans. So it's a lot of things to take into consideration before you battle. So I reckon there's not a lot of battling because guns are just scared, bruv. Do you know what I mean? To to just like take like like why is no one sending for Kanye, bruv? Why is no one coming at Kanye like hard this track? Wah. They do subliminals, innit? So they battle through subliminals, which is very weird, bro. And you have to work it out. And you're like, bro, I've heard that Jay-Z sent for it's either Trump, Kanye West, or Bill Gates on this What's Free track with um, Meek Mill. Who's he sending for? Why? I should be able to know who you're sending for. Why do I have to decipher, use the fucking Fibonacci code to figure out whether or not you're sending for this guy, bruv? Send clearly, bro. Say his name, innit? You get me? I went round your house. I slept in your wife's bed. It's not your bed. It's your wife's bed because you've been arguing and I slept in it. Even if that shit ain't true, just say that shit. (laughs) <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Send for the guy, bruv. Like, you know what I mean? It's a sport. But then again, if you're not making that type of music, fair enough, innit? But you get me? Like, join the Lucas, he makes that type of music, innit? Where it's like, yo, you get me? I'm what, like, if you're gonna say I'm the best rapper, mm. you've now opened invitation for someone to go, uh, well, excuse me. <laughs> Do you see what I'm saying? So then be prepared, didn't it? And he is prepared. Tory Lanez was like, yo, I sent for you now. He was like, please do, bruv. And he had a reply within less than 24 hours. You get me? This is the sport, bruv. This is, this is, this is what we need in, in the hip hop, innit? But obviously you ain't going to have someone like Logic. Logic ain't sending for no one. Let's talk about fucking depression, fam. And getting over bad feelings fam so you let the guy do what he's doing in it don't send for him leave him alone you get me he's still hip-hop but he's we know what type of hip-hop he is in it you get me people need to start 
being clear cut and separating the but hip hop's very it's very like um it's vague bruv. Do you know what I mean?